and welcome to my channel if you're new welcome back if you're a old friend of mine here as you can see another project pen probably the fifth one from um, for this year and I hope the last one anyway I had um, a lot of fun this year with those project pens and um, they helped me to remove a ton of stuff from um, my collection but before going into the video I want to mention that uh, this um, project was created by Elizabeth Linda. I am not very sure 100% about the creator. I will um, look on the um, YouTube. Um, I will do some uh, research and I will leave the information in the description box. Also, I will, uh, I will check um, to see other videos and leave them um, in the description box if you want to see more uh, like this. So um, basically this is a very easy project pen, it's about uh, products that you would like to pen or to finish, it's about products in general. The girls actually that uh, created the project pen, they say they, um, they will have in this project pen uh, products that they want to finish or pen in uh, 2021. I'm not going to say the same thing for me because I'm not sure that... Um, all the products that I picked up are gonna end up in the project pen. Sometimes project pens are easy, sometimes not. When it comes to blushes, highlighters and bronzer and full-size lipsticks, for me it's quite hard to finish them. I'm still working on, on a full-size lipstick since the beginning of the year and it's not done yet. So uh, also with uh, highlighters and blushes. Some of them are taking years and years to finish. And uh, in order to have some, something like that in a project pen, you should prepare the product first. And I think Elizabeth has a great idea creating this project. I think it's a wonderful help and a wonderful tip for um, project panels. So uh, for me, the thing uh, the thing will uh, work like this. I will pick up a bunch of products that I might put in a project pen next year or two years from now or who knows. Because I'm not 100% that those products are going in the project pen. I want to try them first. I did the mistake of uh, having in my project pen full sizes, never open with uh, the box, whatever. Uh, completely new products and uh, I saw that that doesn't work for me. I'm not good in painting um, blushes, bronzers, uh, highlighters in full size and also lipsticks. So for me it's a great help to decide actually what I want to have in a project pen because it's not worth to stick with uh, a product that um, you might not like you my never finish so that's why i want to give a chance to myself to test the product and uh, see how uh, it works if i like it enough because i'm not going to struggle with products that i don't like or uh, i prefer to use what i love than uh, only to use the product to be used so for me i will uh, pick up uh, items that uh, I want to try, I want to see if I like it uh, enough to have it in a, a rolling project pen or a, a year long project pen. Next year I will have way less project pens because I'm not going to have the time uh, to use the products and uh, to film. But I will still um, stick with some of them in order to decide what I will have. And even if I'm not going to put those products in a um, at the beginning of uh, January in the project pens, I may um, roll them in um, along the first or uh, first months of uh, the year or uh, later in the year. So um, we'll see about that. I will have, uh, I think I have 15 products in here. I have products that I never open. I have couple products that I used before. I have products that I love and I want to finish them because I love them. And also, I will um, tell you what's my goal for uh, each one of them. As soon as I will hit uh, my goal for two products, I will do an update, remove those items and uh, roll in something else. So uh, the first item that uh, I want to work is this um, all over powder from uh, Marc Jacobs, beautiful packaging. And also the name of this one is 
81 showstopper in Omega Glaze. It's new. I didn't uh, use this one. I just swatched it in the hole. Has uh, a ton of shimmer in here. Gold shimmer. I'm not so sure if you can see it. Let's try to swatch this one. Looks like a matte. I don't know how much you're able to see, but I love to use um, once in a while those uh, all over powders. And I'm using right now um, in my luxury project pen a Dior one. So um, this is my first item. I will also take pictures for each of the product and I will have them um, in my each update. Then the second item in here, it's a, a product that I didn't try before but it came in the advent calendars and this is from the body shop, it's some uh, glitter, glitter dust, I don't know if I have a shade in here, if I'll find the shade for this one I will uh, leave it on the screen, it's kind of um, a purple that's why I picked up the color. So this is the second item that uh, I'm gonna use. The third one, it's an item that I used before and I think I finished one of these at the beginning of the year. This is the Nature Republic Pour, <coughs> excuse me, Pour Shine Powder, powder Packed. And this one is in the shade... I used to know the shade... <coughs> Everything is in Korean, so, but I will look uh, online and tell you the shade. I used this one couple times. I am trying to, because I know this is going to be an item that I will use. It's quite that kind of uh, powder that um, I'm using when I want to tone uh, down my foundation if it's a little bit too dark. So for sure I will use this one. I want to get a good usage from this one. I'm not saying that I want to hit pen in this one, but I want to get close before uh, removing this one and replace it with uh, something else. The third one in here, it's probably a deluxe sample, I'm not so sure. This is the Beauty Crop and this is the Glamazon Stick. I will show you how much is in this one. Highlighters are um, hard for me to finish. This is all I got in here. My goal with this one is to remove the tip. So, I don't know if I have something here to show you, but anyway, kind of um, this much. Surprising this year, I uh, think I will have done uh, two deluxe samples as uh, highlighter sticks, which never happened to me before, but I'm working on them. Then I will have the steel um, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in uh, Patina. This one is new, I didn't um, ever uh, use it or swatch it. It's a deluxe sample, but lip um, lipsticks, uh, liquid lipsticks are not my uh, favorite. I want to try this one and see if I can um, get some window in here. I might put this one in a project pen. The next product is the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon Champagne Diamonds. And is this one it was a full size that came uh, at some point in one of the calendars. I use it a couple times and um, looks like this. It's a uh, gold. So is this one here quite beautiful. My uh, goal with this one is to get um, here at the beginning of the writing. If I will get there, I will consider this one an item for project pen. Then I have in here this elf and this one is Jumbo Lip Gloss um, Stick and this one is in the color Pink Umbrellas. Looks like this. Let's see how much product it's in here. So this is all that I have in here. As with the other uh, products, I want to remove the tip and have only this part. It's going to be hard because of course the product will have always a tip. but. Um, as uh, a general rule, I would say uh, one third of the product. That will make it uh, easier. I will, of course, leave uh, marks on um, the lids to be easy to keep track. Then the next item that um, I want to um, use is the Terry Compact Expert, Expert Dual Powder in Sun Desire number 7. 
If you ask my channel, you know that I love by Terry. And here is the blush. I think I can um, I can do pretty well because when it comes to blushes, the ones that I have in the project pens right now are not gonna be done in uh, three years from now. So I prefer to work with uh, small samples, even if I will have the um, full sizes. I'm gonna make sure that I will have a good use um, of them before uh, putting them in a project pen. Also, if I will put in a project pen a deluxe sample, it's gonna be well, well, well used before. Next item in here with this one as goal. The shape of this one, I didn't use it, so I don't know how this one will uh, will work because we have two rings in here. The colors are a little bit different. I don't know, we'll see. With this one, let's say that my goal is gonna be to have um, a little bit space on the edge here so you can see the edge of the pen. Not to hit pen, but anyway, I will tell you when I'll uh, get my goal. Then I have an eyeshadow and this one is Ace Beauty, is the um, Glimmer Shadow in French Vanilla, is this one, I used it before, I have a very very tiny uh, pen in here, so I don't know if you can see the pen, it's somewhere here, so I have a little bit of uh, pen on this one, my goal is to increase the pen and then I will uh, take it out, which is not gonna be hard because I love this product. I have four different shades and I wanna use them. Then the next one, it's another well-loved product by me, it's from Tarte, is the Quench Rescue Lipstick and this one is in the shade Rose. I have two of these in full size, I don't have the second one here that I will... Um, that I wanna use next year because I love, love, love the formula, the colors. I uh, I am almost done with um, with a mini. So uh, next year I will uh, use the full sizes. This is all that I have in here, and I wanna use a, a third of this one. Then the next item that I have, it's a stick foundation. I will roll. Um, probably kind of the same items. I will roll uh, another foundation after I'll hit my goal with this one. This one is the um, L'Oreal Infall Infallible. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. It's the long wear, um, sometimes I do, but not always. It's the long wear um, shaping stick. So here is, uh, this one is new. And that's all that I have. And uh, as with the other products, I want to use a third of the product. Then I will roll in a different foundation, a liquid one or uh, a cream or who knows. Then the next item is from Neutrogena. I have a ton of products from um, drugstores that I want to use. My goal for 2021 is going to be to remove, them, to remove most of my... Um, products from drugstore. It's not gonna happen when you, only when, in 2021, but uh, I'll be happy to take out uh, most of them. So this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector with Dioxide Sunscreen SPF 25. So another one that is new. I have some of the products from uh, a while. I only swatch the color and I think the color works. Um, let's see what shade is this one. Buff 09. I don't know if you can see it on my hand but it's here. It's quite very similar with my skin. When I blend it, it's lot, lot, like not there. <laughs> so I will try to get um, as much I can from, from this one. The next one is an elf matte lip color and I have a whole bunch of those. It's time to put them in project pens and this one is nearly nude. So let's see how much is in this one. You know that I'm breaking everything. Quite a lot of product. Anyway, that's all I have and uh, as with the, others, um, the other products. 
I want to use a, a third of this one. It's very easy to apply to carry with you, so I don't know how well I will do with the lipsticks because I have in my other um, project pens a ton of them, but we'll see. Then I have another lipstick, of course, and this one is MDM Flow, is in the shade Bossy. This one is very, it's um, very nude also, it's a, a great color for me, it looks very natural, I can wear this one without any other uh, makeup, great for uh, work, just put this one uh, in the morning and uh, good to go. So here is the shade of this one and that's um, the product in here, how much uh, I have. I used this one probably twice. So here is the color for this one. I will make this one at some point, my everyday lipstick. So, one more product. The last product in here is a product that was before in the project pen and I did, I was so so done with this one. It's the Too Faced Sun um, Bunny. It's a bronzer. It's a deluxe sample but will last forever and ever. Here is the product inside. I have some pen in the, in the middle. It's a little bit too dark for me, but I'll uh, I'll try to make this one work. Although I like the the shade, it will work uh, better for me in um, summer. So I'm trying to extend the pen uh, a little bit, and then I will uh, replace this item with something else. So I will uh, take pictures for um, each items. I'm not gonna um, each item. I'm not gonna um, probably I'm not gonna attach the picture um, where I will. I don't know. We'll see how much time I'll uh, I'll have when I'm gonna edit the video. But for sure I will have uh, the picture in the intro and um, the updates um, in each uh, update. As I told you, I will have an update as uh, soon as I, um, I hit my, I will hit my goal with uh, two products and uh, we'll keep uh, rolling others. So that's kind of all for this uh, video. Thank you so much to Elizabeth for um, giving us the idea of uh, preparing the products for uh, project pens. If you're a project planner, you know how long it takes to use some uh, products. Those project pens were helping me a lot to calm down a little bit the enthusiasm of, of uh, buying makeup. I'm not saying that I'm not gonna buy um, anything because I know I will, but at least I wanna remove some products to literally use some products that I have. So uh, that's kind of all for now. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for uh, everything, thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to enter the giveaway that uh, I uh, still have open until the September 3rd. Good luck to everybody. everybody. I will uh, see you soon with um, another video and uh, probably that one. I'm trying to put my mind in order because I'm... You know, I'm um, waiting for the um, Christmas in July advent calendar. If I will get that one, I will post it before these videos. If not, as soon I will get. Then we need to close the 2019 uh, review. So that's kind of all for, uh, for now. Thank you so much for uh, everything. I will see you soon. You keep staying safe. Bye-bye.